Here's a video on the most natural way to lighten an image on the iPad from an idea put up by a user on one of the Facebook user groups. Open your image in photo from your favourite repository or download it from my website. I'll put the address in the description below this video. And it's this image here, the same one used on the, the desktop version. So the first thing you do is immediately duplicate your image. You don't want to find all your hard work done on your one-off copy of your best image. So lock and unselect the original. We're going to lighten the dark trees and other darkened areas. You can see the darkened background there in the trees is quite, it's quite dark. To do this, we need to select the brightest parts first. Sounds odd, but that's what we do. To select the brightest parts of the photo, first go to the Channel Studio. That's so right over on the right there, and you can see the arrow pointing to it. And it brings up that list of colours. And you've got Composite Red, Composite Green, Composite Blue, and Composite Alpha. You can experiment with those if you like later on. But I've got a big arrow pointing to the one we're going to use, which is Composite Red. Make sure you don't touch any of the pencils, the eyes or the dots that are next to those for the moment. Tap on the Composite Red icon, nothing else, and the image will turn dark. Then tap the three dots next to the Composite Red selection, it's those three dots you'll see there, and select Load to Pixel Selection. You'll see a selection appear and the crawling ants surrounding the brightest parts. This is the area we're going to invert in a moment. Now we can invert the selection by tapping on the little icon that appears right at the bottom of that list. You've got an alpha channel there. Click on that little strange icon that's just near the three dots. That's your invert icon. This means that all the dark areas are now selected because it's inverted, no longer white but dark, or bright but dark. We need to copy the inverted layer, so go to the commands icon, that's up the top now, three dots up the top, not in the, not in the channel layer, channel studio, up the top. Select copy, then paste. You should be familiar with that area by now. You will now have a new layer, and you can see I've got an arrow pointing to it. Select the new layer and set the blend mode to screen. Your image will become lighter instantly. We've still got the crawling ants, but only for a moment. Select the selection persona and tap deselect, and all the crawling ants disappear. There's your new lightened image, ready for fine tuning. And we'll do a little bit of fine tuning for you. Now we need to sharpen the shadows and we do this with the Blend Studio using the adjustable handles. So you've got that layers option there, screen mode, and down the bottom there's two squares, source and destination, with a little white line along the top of each one. We're going to select destination. Tap on the desk box and drag the line down until your shadows sharpen up again. About three quarters of the way should do it. Now close the interface. Your image is now finished, much lighter than it was. Here's a before and after. You can see the lower one is the before one. Those trees on that hillside are really quite dark. And in the upper half, not too bad. In fact, you can use this technique on nearly any photo easily. Kapow! And it's gone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.